Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve indeterminate limits using the method of multiplying by the conjugate. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function the square root of x squared plus 16 minus 4 all over x squared. So the first thing that we always do when we're solving a limit problem algebraically is we plug in this value for a into our function f of x. And when we do that here, we see that we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. So the next method that we usually like to try is the method of factoring. But taking a look here, we don't really have anything to factor. And then there's also the method of expansion, but we don't have anything in parentheses that we could expand. And we don't have a complex rational fraction, so we can't really use the method of finding a common denominator. So the next method that we are going to learn about today is the method we use when we have some kind of square root in the numerator or in the denominator of our fraction. So we're going to multiply this function here by the conjugate of the numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4 over the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And now let's go ahead and multiply this out. And for the numerator, we only need to multiply the first two terms here and here because the other two terms cancel out. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x squared plus 16 squared and then minus 4 times 4, which is equal to 16 and this is all over x squared times the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And notice here that we only need to multiply out the numerator because that's where the conjugate came from. So we can just leave this as is. So in the denominator, we have x squared times the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And next, let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared plus 16, because this square root cancels out with this square here. And then we have minus 16. And this is over x squared times the quantity, the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And from here, we can see that the 16 here cancels out with this negative 16 here. And so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared over x squared times the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And so we can see here that this x squared in the numerator cancels out with this x squared in the denominator. And so we are left with the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over the square root of x squared plus 16 plus 4. And from here, we can now go ahead and plug this value in for x. And so when we do that, we have 1 over the square root of 0 squared plus 16 plus 4. And so simplifying this, we have 1 over and so 0 squared plus 16 is just equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. And then we have plus 4. And so this simplifies down to 1 over 8. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function the square root of 1 plus x minus 1 all over x. So the first thing that we always do whenever we're solving a limit problem algebraically is we take this value for a and we plug it into our function f of x. And when we do that here, we see that we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. So we can't use the method of factoring here because we don't really have anything to factor. We can't use the method of expansion because we don't really have anything in parentheses. And we can't use the method of finding a common denominator because we don't have any kind of complex rational fraction here. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to rationalize our numerator. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our numerator and denominator by the conjugate of our numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 
1 plus x plus 1 over the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And now let's go ahead and multiply this out. And for the numerator, all we need to do is multiply the first two terms because the other two terms cancel out. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of 1 plus x squared. And here we have negative 1 times 1, which is equal to negative 1. And this is all over x times the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And so in the denominator, we have x times the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And notice here that we don't need to expand the denominator. We just have to expand the numerator because that's where the conjugate came from. And now let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have the limit as x approaches 0. And so in the numerator, we have the square root of 1 plus x squared. And so this square root cancels out with this square here. So we just have 1 plus x, and then we have minus 1. This is all over x times the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And so we can see here that in our numerator, this 1 cancels out with this negative 1 here. And so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x over x times the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And we can see that this x in the numerator cancels out with this x in the denominator. And so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over the square root of 1 plus x plus 1. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this value for a and for x. And when we do that, we get 1 over the square root of 1 plus 0 plus 1. And so this simplifies down to 1 over, and so the square root of 1 is just equal to 1, and then we have plus 1 here. And so we get 1 over 2. And so that is how you solve an indeterminate limit using the method of multiplying by the conjugate. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.